sad that you know you're talking about a, a potential rematch with you know an individual who's facing multiple you know federal and local investigations a, a, a person who they say inspired an attempted coup in this country on January 6th you know um, a, a person who tried to you know basically change you know to uh, 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 still change the results of an election like just wouldn't acknowledge the results of of an election i feel like there have to be some type of qualifications for president i think when you're facing you know that much i don't even think you should be qualified to run and so it's sad that we're saying you know it's still a toss-up between him uh president biden i, I think that's more in, indicative of what you know democrats aren't doing and, and for me i just don't i don't i don't see the bench that the democrats have like i don't I personally don't see the per the person that they could put up in 2024 that could like really galvanize and, and energize people. I mean, the fact that Biden is still their safest bet, I ugh, I think that's sad too. He probably will run because they don't have any other choice. You know, it's one of those things like, uh, hey man, you're our safest bet. You know, you, you you're what we got. You know, you you won in 2020, so you know, how about just. You know, come on out again in 2024. Uh, do I think he should? I, I I really don't think they have a choice. <laughs> you know, Willie and Shuddy is the same thing. I don't think I don't think uh, the, the, I don't if they if they want to remain in power in the White House or even have a chance to remain in power. I don't think they have a choice. No, I don't. I, I don't think the vice president stands a chance against Donald Trump or or, or Ron DeSantis unless something magically changes over the next you know two years. And, and, she pivots greatly, you know, um, but uh, based off what we've seen so far, no. And I think people are sleeping on Ron DeSantis. I think that, you know, Ron DeSantis is a, is a very, you know, formidable opponent. I, don't even, I can't even believe the conversations I'm hearing where people are saying, like, oh, I don't think he can win the national election. Why not? What, what would make him think that he can't win the national election? Sorry to tell y'all, man, I'm from the South. I'm, so I'm from South Carolina. More of the country is more like Florida than you know we may want to um, <laughs> may want to believe, but ma majority of America is more you know rural and you know full of conservative values like in a place like Florida than there is um, you know other places. I think when you live in New York or you know California, you might be fooled and think that's the world, but that's not the world. The world is more sovereign in in in, in Midwest than anything. That's interesting, right? Because my, my my gut says DeSantis, but you know, there's this thing that first of all, America's America is way too obsessed with celebrity, right? That's number one. And there's something about those 80s, 90s celebrities where they just have a stranglehold on American consciousness. It's different. I'm not talking about the celebrity that we have now, where it's just like, you know, you got a couple million YouTube followers, you somebody. It's something about that 80s. 90s celebrity that we just will never be able to run away from. It's something about those 80s, 90s celebrities that galvanize the country in a different way. And I think Trump benefits, you know, greatly from that. And I think the thing that gives DeSantis the edge, maybe over that, uh, no, I don't think there's an edge over the popularity, but I think what gives DeSantis a good edge is that he is, 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 is he seems more stable. And I don't think any of us on any side, you know, I don't, I don't claim either side, you know, but I, I think anybody, we don't, we don't want to go through that, that cycle of every day in the news, everybody's talking about Trump. You know what I mean? It just, it's, it's, it just leads to too much divisiveness. You know, it leads to too much anxiety, like, you know, it just, I don't want to see him on Fox News every five minutes. I don't want to see him on CNN every five minutes. I don't want to see him on MSNBC every five minutes. And I think, you know, that nonstop media coverage is what uh, helped him, you know, the first time. And I think that right now is just too many things going on in the world for us to be constantly worried about every single thing that is going on in 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 the world of Trump.
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.